Hey, what's up, guys? I am back once again. Uh, I did some off-camera grinding because okay, good. I did turn the level scaling back to recommended because uh, we were way too weak to be able to do a whole heck of a lot more because <coughs> excuse me because we just needed our monsters to be stronger. So I did that. So Eugene's Cloxley is ready to remaster, and so is Velocirifle. Uh, Winggloom remastered into Moth Maniac. If I was smart, I wouldn't have done that off screen, but I forgot that it even had a remaster. Uh, also, uh, my big mark of shame, I found a bootleg Elfless off camera. I really wish I had footage of that, but I didn't. So here he is, Poison type Elfless. Never gonna use him because, you know, our starter, my Asmodeus, is Poison type, but I have it. So now I'm gonna do the remaster. All right. Loxley is gonna instantly get way better. Seriously, Robin Dam is actually really strong, unlike Loxley. And here's the big one. Velocirifle is gonna turn into Giryu. Oh, Giryu is super good, I'm telling you. All right, so now at this point, our whole party is max, uh, max evolution. So I think that's going to be pretty dang good for power levels overall. Just check the moves Giryu has. Yeah, he's going to need a, a move he can use for... Yes, I know he has gear shear, but I cannot rely on that as my primary, you know, metal attack, seeing as how it costs 10 energy. All right, we're all set. Oh boy, more rumors. Hello. Okay, more info on where the captains are, that's good. All right. So we are going to continue hunting down the land keepers this episode because that's kind of what we were doing before. Because I want to finish Eugene's quest line just to unlock fusion with him. Let me just quickly do... Okay, clear three, and I believe there's six. So maybe this ain't the way to the woods, so I don't need to go fighting somebody who's yet. You know, and, and before you guys say that the reason I'm underleveled is because I'm dodging all of these, these battles, uh, shut up. Hmm. I'm not dodging this battle. Oh, come on, why you always gotta lead with the counter? out. You know, waste an entire turn. Giryu is freaking huge, man. It's massive. And his stats are really good. Artillerex, the other uh, final form for Velocirifle is also really good, but I just, I wanted to use him because they both... I, I haven't really used a Giryu before, because I'm not even kidding when I say that in my single-player playthrough, he was the last guy in the entire bestiary I actually got, because I didn't know where to get a gear shear stick. Uh, and I didn't bother looking it up Ugh. until, you know, wasting a bunch of time looking for it. But, uh, I, I, I didn't choose to do that this time, so I did get a gear shear sticker, so I do have a Giryu. Hooray. He's really cool. And I like him. He's a metal dragon. Alright, I'm trying to get into the woods, because if I remember correctly, there's a landkeeper office in the woods. But I cannot for the life of me remember the easiest way to get into the woods. Well, there we go. We're in the woods. 
Okay. So yeah, I, I know that we're, I've been doing a lot of exploring. Uh, as opposed to doing things the last episode or two. But uh, it really is important that I just get the map done and get puzzles done to get different areas opened up. Chill! Oh my gosh, that guy wanted me dead so bad! That wasn't a bush, that was a monster. Pretending to be a bush. What I really want to know is because uh, Robin Dam gets the passive move or passive ability uh, spring loaded, which turns all melee attacks into ranged attacks for its duration, which is important because Robin Dam has a higher range attack death. I want to know if he gets the plastic knife attack because that, when you have uh, spring loaded, to make it easier, better attack. So that's really good. That's a puzzle. I, that's for a puzzle I haven't done. I feel like there's not Man, these woods really are really big. Okay, because there's a landkeeper office over there, but that's not the one I'm thinking of. Well, gee, that's that's the mall. That's useful for later. But... Well, I must have been mistaken. <coughs> so y'all had to deal with me running around the woods for no reason. Uh, get pranked. Well, then I legitimately don't remember where the other landkeeper offices are because clearly, if I can't be trusted to remember one of them, I can't be trusted to remember the rest. Oh, no, it's right up there. How the heck do I get up there? Is the real question. Don't tell me. They're gonna... They're gonna make me actually do the puzzle. I don't... I don't like the forest puzzle. Because I'm too stupid to remember how to do it. under the rock. That's cool. Mm. I figure I'm gonna stop avoiding the, the, the trainer battles here in the woods because if I keep doing that, it's just gonna be annoying to try to keep going around them. And also they are worth XP. Uh, I'm really way too used to my endgame playthrough where I have, like, super optimized monsters and really good movesets and passives, so having to play using not crazy overpowered stuff feels a little off. I'm used to just being absurdly OP. <laughs> yeah, you had a second monster, sucks to suck. Hammer. I don't know why I didn't think that they might be able to go up the magnetism things too, but I just kind of didn't think it would. Well, not a lot to really say about this, to be honest. It's couple of little dudes. And they 
have been destroyed by the Lego attack. Anyways, uh, I think that dating this recording so that you know when I did it is a perfectly reasonable decision. So, as of the time of recording this, Baldur's Gate 3 comes out in just a couple days, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, we're gonna be playing that on the channel. Me, Derek, Chris, and also my dad, so it'll be a four-player co-op. So, look forward to that. Because I know we are. Alright, and now for the part where we have to just keep... Okay, so I need another magnet box. Can, can you not? Stop, I'm just trying to do a puzzle. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about that. What is hitting this red switch to? It's just another part of the fun make puzzles that I care about. You know, it's come to my attention I can actually reach the landkeeper office like right now. But now I'm partway through the puzzle and I'm invested, dang it. Also, because I'm pretty sure it's an important puzzle. Oh, well, there's the mall. Question is, can I already fast travel? Yes, I can already fast travel to that campsite. Yes! Okay. It is once again time. To, to, to beat up a real estate. How many times will I make that joke? If you can even call it a joke. I don't know. Until y'all stop watching the videos, I guess. Please, please don't stop watching the videos. Oh. Uh, the main weakness that Robin Dam has, besides the fact that plastic types just have bad matchups with a lot of types in this game, his main weakness is his awful defensive stats. <laughs> Absolute garbage, man. Yeah, no, I got lots of cool stuff planned for the channel coming up here. You know, like I said, Baldur's Gate 3. Got more Pokemon stuff for after for after we uh, for after we wrap up Radical Red. So yeah, lots of exciting plans. Oh boy, evasion strategy is my favorite. Gotta miss at least one attack, right? Otherwise, what's the point of an evasion? Well, at least Eugene hit twice. So, uh... Okay, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm... Something's up. My, like, I'm sure you noticed my commentary's been kind of bad. I feel really lightheaded. Give me a minute. I'll be back. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. I think I was just feeling dehydrated or something. But I'm better now. So here's the deal, right? Uh, as I'm sure you will have noticed by the time this episode comes out, because, well, this is number three in a batch. 
Uh, I'm uploading this game a lot more all of a sudden. I bet you noticed. Because, uh, you know, before it was supposed to be once a week, and then I wasn't doing it consistently. <sighs> but now, surprise, it's, uh, it's twice a week. And the reason why is because the game has DLC confirmed to be coming out at the beginning of September. So I want to have finished my main playthrough, hopefully at least somewhat near that time. And the reason why is obviously because I want to be able to play the DLC on the channel, and I assume it's going to be post-game because it probably will be. Anyways, uh, time to go in, time to go trespass on a private property because we disagree with their business strategy. Joke's on you. I can't be cast out of my home if I'm homeless. Hey! All right. I'm never gonna get to use Gear Shear unless I stack so many passes on this dude later. Which is uh, kind of a plan. I do not like that jump scare attack, but I... Oh, right, that was... Okay, I was a little confused for what that smack was. Did they... Weird. Whatever. No, don't hit him. Just shot the full health one, and then bring the last for both of them. I mean, seriously, uh, any of my my biggest piece of advice for anybody who wants to pick this game up is that uh, defense is actually way more important than offense, especially in the early and mid game. In the late game, when your level gets higher, you'll have enough stats to to just kind of deal with not having super high defense. But in the early and mid game, you need defense because it's so easy to just get absolutely annihilated by some of the monsters. Especially considering a lot of the time, at least in my experience, it seems like the enemies have their monsters remastered before the player is going to be able to. It's why I stopped to to do the, the grinding in between episodes. It was just because I was getting a little bit sick of having that much of a disadvantage. Oh, uh, yeah. I, my, my gear you self-destructs when you defeat it. You know, if I had made sure to have a partner with a positive reaction to being hit by fire, like a water or air type, that would have been really, really strong. All right. So that was just kind of okay. All right. Steal from their filing cabinet, and we're out of here. All right. The landkeeper's last remaining offices, if I remember, should be in this southwest area. Whatever, I'll look it up in between episodes, because honestly, not much point in going much further. We've got, we've been going for a little while. You know, I know the episodes are a little on the shorter side, but in my experience, people don't want to watch 30 minute long videos or 40 minute long Bonjour. videos. I, I say after uploading a 53 minute description video. Uh, anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.